Hey y'all, welcome back to Endless Ocean Blue World. With me is my good pal, Chiroka Joe. Yeah, we're going too long. So, last time we were uh, nearly crushed by a humpback whale. Fucking whales own the road. <laughs> They'll earn the right of way. <sighs> There's so many mysteries, mysterious mystery things. It's my dead son's dead pendant. That was my son. He died. Oh, Nadine, you think everything has to do with the Song of Dragons. This toast... This toast has something to do with the Song of Dragons. That palm tree, it had something to do with the Song of Dragons. Anything could happen on accident when you get down to it. Not the other pendant. Oh no, a deep hole! Oh, this comes back to hold you, Zorak. You ever notice that? Oh, what can I say? I'm a bit of a hole guy. That area is dangerous and a hole. You can't go by a dangerous hole. Worthless superstitions, huh? Sailor saying they're worthless. Huh? <laughs> She should have seen there. She did like three backflips, and it was entirely pointless, but stylish. Yeah, not as much as that humpback would have made. All right, you convinced me. Now what? Congratulations. <sighs> Good dive, everybody. Good work, team. I love those little penguins. I do too. It's one of the best loading screens. Uh oh. This is ominous. Why are your fenders down? A new choice. Oh no. Damn it, I wonder about the hole. Damn, I never should've told her about that hole. Now all she thinks about is holes. Oceana. You should stop dropping treasures and holes. Oh, tiger sharks. You said it with yellow letters. You should be worried. Oh no, kelp! Uh, we meet again. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I, I guess we can handle that. Uh, it's either us or some Japanese fisherman. You get a gun! Uh, oh, it's not actually a gun. It's an electromagnetic device. It's a metagun. Can heal things. And, and calm them down. I yeah, sure you got no problem using it. This is the end you point at things you want to not buy. <laughs> well, we have a uh, new dive spot, so we might as well start there. Ah, uh, the entrance to the hole. Those humphead rasses are dating. Aww. I know, it's sweet. Well, I understand how to use it, but just for the audience, I'm gonna show it off. Okay. Especially since it's the quickest tutorial in history. Quip gun, shoot gun. Yes. I don't have time for a full tutorial, so here. It charges up. Shoot at a thing. 
Ah, oh, soothe that tang. Soothe the tang. Get all the tang at the hole. Yeah, also it, yeah, it's, yeah. It can heal stuff and it can calm stuff down at the same it, time. Technically what you're doing is you're just getting belly rubs from a distance. Aww. Belly rubs make everything better. Now, this is the uh, first dive, well, it's the second dive, but it's the, it's the first dive where air actually matters. And air is a big deal in this game, unlike in the previous one. You can and will probably run out of air a few times if you're not careful. Yeah, you will. And... Humphead Rass! Hey, I remember these guys. And he's got friends. Yeah, he does. Clean a Rass. They're also Rass. So... They're, these rats, they dance, and basically it says other fish, come here and I'll clean you. And that's really helpful, because they'll actually just float around the humphead rats and just kind of pick off parasites. But there's another fish that looks almost identical to the cleaner rats, and it's actually a blenny, and they do the same dance, and they just take chunks of flesh out and swim away. What jerks? <laughs> yep. Ah. Speaking of jerks and these rats, they, they were actually in the first Endless Ocean, but they're not listed. You can't actually focus on them. Huh. They are in the game, but they're like, they're an extra fish. Weird. Well, they've... they've clearly they solved that now. Descend into the hole. The rass hole. <laughs> Please, just, just stop. <sighs> Kelp! Kelp! You know them tangs. It's looking like kelp, John Airy. It's looking like hella kelp. Kelp and tiger sharks. Ah. Tiny little map here. Yep. So, Red, how do you feel about kelp? Kelp. Kelp is the common name for large seaweed. You might be thinking seaweed or plants. They're green, they grow, they photosynthesize and shit, but nope. They're algae. Large, communal, brown algae. They indeed do photosynthesize, but they are relatively simple by comparison to plants. Plants possess distinct organs and tissues after all. Leaves, roots, rhizoids, that sort of thing. Our land plants probably evolved from freshwater algae some four to five hundred million years ago. Which means, contrary to what you might think, Animals actually predate plants. By a long shot. The earliest sponges we discovered are dated to around 610 million years ago. And things without the hard bodies of sponges may have been chilling for even longer. Anyways, kelp. Some just float around at the surface of the water. Others are attached to the seafloor through vaguely root-like structures. These grounded ones often have gas-filled cells helping them stay somewhat vertical. This is where the kelp forest people find so cool come from. Kelp's simple structure helps it be extremely fast growing, too. Macrocystis pyrifera, for example, can grow at a rate of 2 feet a day, reaching over 45 meters, 148 feet, long in a single season. Kelp is eaten by a fair bit of sea life, and of course harvested by people, too. It's used to create alginate, a thickening product in ice cream, jelly, toothpaste, as well as canned dog food. Some varieties are eaten in Asia. Japan finds kelp hilarious for some reason. I have no idea why. Eating kelp can also help reduce the flatulence creating effect of beans, as well as preventing fat absorption. So, thanks kelp. Oh, that was kelp. I'm for it. Good to know. So yes, you can use your pulsar to heal fish. And there are benefits for this, but I'm not going to tell you what they are. I know what they are, and I'm not telling either. I'm tired of shooting fish now. No. Got to heal Tang. That's an idol. I know, but I'm healing multiple things. Anyways, I guess we should get going because uh, if you look at our air tank there on the left, it's kind of, it's kind of going down. Unfortunately, the deeper you go, the more your air depletes. Well, you gotta level up your man. Leafy Sea Dragon. 
These are one of my favorite fish. They're just so cool looking. Look at them. Look, look at them. They just look like... Yeah, they look dragons. like yourself. Also, they have yeah. the turn radius of a bus. Yes. That happens. You know it goes with pikefish. Yeah. Self and tang. It's a good thing that kelp isn't dangerous at all. Oh no, god. Nobody's ever been killed by kelp. Nope. Not ever. Nope. Never. Never. At all. But yeah, when you run out of air, you have to immediately return to the surface or you will fail whatever you're doing. Kinda sucks. Yeah, it's... yeah. But it's, it, there's a reason for it. It just kind of helps extend the game a bit more, and it, it, it helps pace things a bit better. It makes some areas actually more exciting. It does. It does. It adds a bit of a uh, risk factor, and as is true with much, with most games, actually, it's really good to have a element of risk. Yep. This game is definitely more exciting than the first one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a spooky hole. Ah, the spook hole. Really call it a crater? Yeah, maybe it was caused by a meteor. You could say. Yes. Hell, wait, the ray is going hog wild. Also, I am a big fan of using a first person's perspective in this game. It works well with the new controls. It does, it does. Also makes things spooky. Those eagle rays are perfectly synchronized. Look at them. You think they practiced that? Probably. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, she's kind of fucked, sir. That shark is pissed. He's dicey. Like a game of nine balls. Unless I'm a stick. If only I could dive and find a pool table. I'm a little too far away, unfortunately. I have to go closer. Now, sharks in this game, not all of them are very nice. In fact, quite a few are very pissed. And... It's coming for you! They will fuck you up. And when they fuck you up, you lose air. Yeah, you, you kind of gasp and gulp down air. Yeah. Fortunately, with Pulsar, you can pretty much oh. solve the shark problem. Sometimes. You're calling the shark! Swim off though, we can look at it. You don't actually have his data yet. Oh well. There's always later. Yeah, more sharks kicking your ass. Oh. You're welcome, I guess. Yeah, it happens. Grandpa's pretty worried. You refer to him as Jean A. I do. But, uh, or sir. Why would you refer to her grandpa to her face as being John Eric, though? Ah, you got a title. I mean, it, it, he has her grandpa. Her grandpapa. Her pappy. We're gonna show off those titles later, right? Oh, yeah. So, descending into the hole. Now, we have to be a bit quick about this because the deeper we go, the more oxygen we lose. So, if you watch the meter to the left, that thing is gonna go down quick. Ah, sub holes. Ah, a hole within a hole. Let's see, what kind of giant will we find here in the giant's grotto? It's a mystery. Ah. It's a crystal jelly. Or belt jelly if you're playing the European version. Which you might. I don't know. They actually poke it. They, they light up with that light right there. That's pretty awesome. There's actually a substance in them that they can use to measure calcium density. And the people who discovered that actually got a Nobel Prize for chemistry for finding that. Oh, neat. 
So there you go, little jellyfish. It's a good fact, yo. Thanks for helping us detect calcium density. Hey, that's a good thing. Especially with all the old ladies we have. So many old ladies. And hey, oh, Ribbon Moray. <laughs> he just doesn't care about my food. No, he's a Moray. Gets a bit stick pissed your, when I touch him. Stick though. your finger in front of him and all. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't care. Ah, get out of my hole. You should get out of the eel hole. Let's see. Of course, there's this main hole here. It's probably the primary suspect for uh, locating Oceana's necklace. Right. As indicated by that questly shine there. If you actually look at it really closely, it's a bunch of fish silhouettes swimming around. Hehe. <laughs> oh, you found my crap. Man, this thing should hold up well underwater. You lost this thing like six, ten years ago? I don't know. Wait a minute, what's that behind that thing? It's a thing. And this explains just the healing mechanics a bit more, you know. My favorite part of this is you can tell, like, look at the background, you'll see kelp moving around, but the fish are just perfectly sitting in place. Yeah, but they're, they're moving a bit. Yes, but they're just there. They're not moving. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well. Fuck. The friend of Sturgeon. I'll get you sometime, Rock. I'll get you sometime. Wait, what was that sound? Uh, a pine cone fish. Pine cone fish light up. I actually saw them when I went to the aquarium over in Tampa. They actually have them in a dark room, and you'll see the little lights flight flicker on. Yep. And they Not actually show them lighting up in game. They put in the effort. Yeah. And some fucking singular banderfish. <laughs> We've seen you already, banderfish. Well. There was some stuff outside the hole, so we should go check that out before we run completely out of oxygen. Oh, our oxygen. Look at it. It's ticking down. Yeah. It's Normally, ticking. if I were actually diving, this would probably be approaching the level when I would just outright say, okay, dive over. You don't want to cut it close while underwater. It is very risky to do so. So the trivia that these fish have, it actually it doesn't have anything really to do with this fish. It's about how saltwater fish and freshwater fish are different. And it's to prevent dehydration, saltwater fish, they have to take in the salt water, but they excrete the excess salt through special cells. And freshwater fish don't have these cells as often or at all, so they can't survive in saltwater. They just can't get rid of the salt, so it builds yeah. up in their system. Very true. So, there you go. Thank you, White Martin you Unicorn Fish. <laughs> oh, hey, look what we found here. Not to drill. By the way, I'm here. A screw with the drill. Shark eggs are neat. Yeah, they are. The ones that lay eggs, anyway. Well, yes. Some give birth live. Most lay eggs, I think. It's most, right? I think it's most. It's probably most. I don't know. Weird, weird thing about that egg is it's depicted kind of weird, because actually they're usually wedged into crevices in the coral or rocks. That's why they're wedge-shaped, so they don't get pushed away by the currents. Oh, what? jeez. Oh, God. Yeah, when you run low on oxygen, it starts doing this, and it starts going down really quickly at this point, so, uh... Because you're panicking! Stop panicking, Zorak! Ah! Let's return to the boat. And my diving level went up. Level up! Level up your man. Woman. The Lipper Man. She's a man, though. Nadine is a lady. And she knows things lady. about the Song of Dragons. Okay. Well, clearly I wasn't at all. They gotta get my crap. It, it really bothers me that those fenders are out like that. Look, he has nowhere else to store them. You should put them on the boat. They don't take up much space. Could have been something else in the shark, like some kind of mega shark. Or two sharks. 
Ah. You know what the most dangerous type of shark is? A pool shark. Ah, I got some pool shark stories back in the day. Grandpa, this isn't the time for that. You're yelling at me. Yeah, whatever. I guess I'll just keep the zappy gun. It takes a special individual to be good at shooting at things. You know, not not crap themselves. A big ass shark comes at them. Teeth agape. Hmm. Both these answers are true. It. I don't think it matters which answer you give. It doesn't. It just cares that you give an answer. He must have an opinion on things. Yeah, yeah they are. All right, you've convinced me. Ah. Katai. Click. Oh shit. Oh shit, the word to truth. Also something about dragons. Nadine does a fist pump. Yes, son of dragons, yes! My conspiracy theories were cracked. <laughs> I don't think she actually sounds like that, but... Oh, let's get Nancy. Ah, Nancy. No, I haven't met Nancy. And we got a new title, South Sea Drifter. Great, you're a plankton. Anyways, that's it for this update. See you next time when we go visit our new home. Woo.